There ain't you lot. How we doing? Yorkshire Cooks here. Cheers. Cheers. And today is our Christmas special. Now we're not just your bog standard cooks if you've seen this channel before. You know we like to put a spin on things. So what we've come up with is a Christmas dinner in a burger. In a burger! Can you believe it? And the burgers in a bread cake. In a bread cake. Not a bomb cake, not a roll, not none of that nonsense. A bread cake. A bread cake. But before that, we go on to deal of the week. Now I'm kicking off today's deal of the week. So what we have here <clears throat> is from co-op six, that's right, six salad tomatoes, 20 pence they were, 20 pence. And not only that, guess what they're contributing to? Our Christmas burger. Have that. Very good, very good. Well, let me tell you. I've been to a supermarket okay. close by. Not only have I bought sprouts, which also contribute to it, at 60p, reduced from a pound, but I've also got oh God. a vegetable pack, seasonal vegetable pack. There's a turnip there, which I've never had in my life. <laughs> There's at least three carrots. <laughs> There's a parsnip. 40 pence and all? Yeah, 40p. It says they were 72p. Oh, wow, they definitely started at 20 pence. But that ain't it, that ain't it. I've totally Have turned... Have you got three? I've totally turned vegetarian. <laughs> and, and this one is again for our burger. Was 55p, now 35p. The coriander. The coriander. So we're going to get that used to this. There's some rule breaking going on here. You can't whip three deals out to beat my one deal. And mine are only 20 pence. How much have you spent overall for them? For uh, a bloody turnip? 35 pence. Uh, 35. That's 35. That's 75. 75. That's £1.35. A load of... Yeah. Right. Well, well you tell us down in the comments who's won this week. I'm not being funny. On to beer of the week, and today's beer of the week is a famous one. It's from Bradfield Brewery called Belgium Blue, and it comes out every Christmas, and it is one of their best sellers, even though it only comes out at Christmas. Yeah, I mean, it, it says here, I, I quite like the taste of it, only the finest malts and hops are used together with our own source of natural spring water to produce the unique beer with Christmas berry overtones and a multi rich flavour making it the perfect winter warmer. Well it certainly warmed me up. <laughs> I couldn't agree more with the description. Mm. You can definitely taste them berry overtones. You can. And it is a very multi pine. Yes. Is it, it'll give you an headache in the morning if you have too many, I can assure it will, you. Because it comes in at a 4.9%. So I'm going to be honest, three would bring an headache on for me, I'm going to be honest with you. Well, I, probably about six or seven for me. <laughs> Don't pretend. <laughs> Brilliant. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. One small courgette. One onion. 500 gram of extra lean turkey mince. Three cloves of garlic. One teaspoon of oregano. One teaspoon of mixed herbs. Three teaspoons of cayenne chili pepper. A couple of big squirts of tomato puree. A great big splash of Henderson's relish. One juicy tomato. Cheese of your choice, we chose mozzarella. A bag of Justin Date coriander. Everyone's go-to seasoning, salt and pepper. 
for our Christmas mayonnaise, Dijon mustard. One large egg. One teaspoon of lemon juice. One small cup of vegetable oil. Everyone's go-to seasoning, salt, a pinch of. A couple of oven cooked potato cubes. A couple of sprouts. Right, to start, we need to grate our courgette coarsely. Now, put your courgette in the mixing bowl. It doesn't matter if you leave some in because we're going to do the onion next. Now, repeat the process with an onion, grating coarsely. Now, put your onion in the bowl. Add your 500 grams of lean turkey mince and always remember to take the paper off. Then, normally I would crush this but for quickness today I'm going to use garlic puree. So put a dollop of that on, depends how much you like garlic. Same with tomato puree. Just put a dollop in. Teaspoon of mixed herbs. Oops, a bit more than a mix. Over a tablespoon. <laughs> and same with oregano. I like oregano. And just to give it a bit of spice, some cayenne chili pepper. But be careful because it could overpower your uh, mincemeat. Also, everyone's go to seasoning a bit of salt and pepper. There used to be a pop rub called salt and pepper, you know. I know. Do you? Yeah, I did. I bet you can't name one of the songs, can you? Yeah. No? I can't. I think I can for Thailand, isn't it? Right, we're going to mix all that in now. Now, first of all, I'd mix it in with a spoon, a wooden spoon. Next, it's the magic ingredient. Put a small dash of Henderson's relish in. Small dash. <laughs> to your preference. Now, get the sleeves rolled up and get your hands in. Well, cut that. So make, making sure that everything is really mixed in. Right, cut your mixture into five. I'm, I'm going to make five burgers here, so into five equal parts. So it, well, it's a bit of a guess, but we'll we'll have a guess at that. Then what I'm going to do goes straight on to. Normally, I would mould out a burger with my hands. But, we've gone to no expense here, and I mean no expense, and bought a press. So, get my first piece of meat, put it in the middle, I think we can safely use a bit more, and press it out, and then press down on the press, and as you can see, it makes a perfectly round falls out. Look at that! Burger. Add your burgers to the pan. Make sure you put some oil in. Ooh, listen at that. Breaking slightly. Whilst your burgers are sizzling in the background, we're going to make our Christmas mayonnaise. Now this is Christmas mayonnaise with a twist. So, first of all, we need half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard for it. All right, a bit more then. One egg and no shell. Wow! Lemon juice, teaspoon. That's a bit more. 
There's a cup of vegetable oil. A bit more than a cup, I know, but there we go. Then, salt. A pinch of salt. In fact, I forgot which fast food outlet I got that from. A pinch of salt, so that'll do. And this is where it's going to be totally different. I'm going to put two sprouts in. You wouldn't think you'd put that in mayonnaise. And I'll tell you what, put a couple of potatoes in. And that is our mayonnaise. Looks appetising. Hmm? <laughs> right, I'm now going to blend it all together. We've got a bowl of mozzarella. Now, as we said in the ingredients, the cheese of your choice, but we prefer mozzarella and it melts absolutely incredible on the top of these burgers. So put it into strips like that. After you flip your burgers a few times and they're nice and brown and burnt in areas, put on your cheese. When your burgers are flipping and frying and your buns are in the oven, uh, no, I meant bread cakes are in the oven, just pour yourself a brew. Cut a couple of tomatoes up, because this is going to be on the base of our burger. With your fresh coriander, needs cutting up roughly because I'm no chef so it's, it's as fine as I dare go without cutting ends of my fingers off right we're now going to put the burger together I've cut the uh, chia batter roll uh, only eat into roll it's a chia batter bread cake first of all we'll put a couple of pieces of tomato then our first burger goes on. Sprinkling of coriander and then we'll put another tomato on. Followed by, you've guessed it, another burger. Right, the next thing we're going to do is put on our Christmas mayonnaise. Now this is the mayonnaise that's got the sprout and the potato in. So I like to let it dribble. So it's dribbling nicely down this burger. Um, I'm, I'm putting some balsamic vinegar on top and it's already slipping so I've got to be quick with this. So I'll put the balsamic vinegar on and now bit more coriander to finish and then we just put the bread cake top on and there we go it's a double decker burger Christmas burger right now it's the taste test time this is the one that we made the double decker we may also made a single decker um, we're going to cut into this one first. Yeah, because I'm dicing on this one. No, you, you're having half of this. <laughs> right. Oh, the other thing is, which I, I didn't mention, what about putting some cranberry sauce on? Well, you just make your burger to your preference, really. We can't apply, I know I will be. I know I will be. So let's just apply some of this. Yeah, just put some on there. Get some on there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. Ah, get yeah, some of mine. Yeah. Ah. Big dollop of that. Right. Oh, boy. Now it is going to be a burger and a half. Right. Move this over here. This is going to squeeze all over. And this is your Christmas burger. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. How many flavours is in that? Wow. It's a full Christmas dinner. Mmm. 
wow. This needs to be had over your Christmas break. Wow. I'd go as far to say this is the best thing we've made. I would. <laughs> wow. That, just look at the layers of that. Everything comes through. Everything. Right down to the courgette and the burger comes through. Wow. I can't say much, much else about that. You, I mean, you can't really taste the mayonnaise. And you certainly, if you're the person who doesn't like Brussels sprouts, you're not going to taste them. Mm -mm. But it's one of your five a day. In fact, if you look at it, I think you've got five of your five a day. In there. I do. I think you've got five of your five a day. And one of your five a days are only 20 pence. But that is just a stunning burger. Mm. Served how you want it, with what you want in it. Couldn't ask for anything more over Christmas. Mm. So get it on your Christmas list. Um, there's one person I've got to thank for the, the mayonnaise because we, we ask you to uh, put comments down. Now, my cousin Michael suggested that I do something for Christmas with sprouts in. And that, I've done it, Michael, is a perfect way of doing it. Mm. Anyway, please subscribe, like his videos, and have a lovely, lovely Christmas with all the family. Yes, have a great Christmas. Bob on. Bob on. Take care. Get me a slab of this burger in me, God. Mm. Oh, let's see it's stuff. Hey, right, you lot. How are we doing? Yorkshire Cooks here. Cheers. Cheers. And today is our Christmas special. Now, we're not just your bog standard cooks like some others on YouTube. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> today, we will. <laughs> One more time. Wait a second. I can't tell. Hey right, you lot. How are we doing? Yorkshire Cooks here. Cheers. Cheers. And today is our Christmas special. Now we're not any bog standard cooks if you've seen this channel. No by Jiminy. <laughs> you can't bro <laughs> spatter it ways like that and catch me off guard. I, I, I ain't got all to say.